Bugs in peanut butter. Brace yourselves, America, many of your favorite foods may contain bits and pieces of creatures that you probably didn't know were there. Yes there are bugs in your peanut butter. It makes a delicious cookie, goes great in a smoothie, and pairs perfectly with grape jelly. But how well do you really know that stuff in the jar? Because peanut butter is commercially processed, it'll be exposed to the dangers of processing plants. It may come into contact with pests of every kind, including cockroaches. It's impossible to completely eradicate these pests from a factory. So, peanut butter is processed with trace pieces of cockroaches in it. Peanut butter contains tiny fragments of cockroaches. Of course, peanut butter isn't made exclusively from insect parts, but the processing stage allows for small pieces of insects to fall in. Under current FDA rules, insect parts are considered too insignificant to lead to health issues in humans. FDA clearly states that you're only eating their parts. The government's official defect levels handbook notes an allowed ratio of 30 insect fragments per 100 grams of yummy spreadable. This may be disturbing to discover, but it's okay for humans to eat peanut butter, even if it has tiny cockroach fragments mixed in. The same is true of organic peanut butter, almond butter, and almost every kind of butter. While not every jar will contain bits of cockroaches, it's impossible to know which ones do and don't. Your particular jar of peanut butter may not have any traces of roaches, rodent hair, or grit in it whatsoever. The above values are the maximum values that the FDA allows to legally be inside peanut butter being sold across the country. Peanut butter with these specks of insects and other things is not necessarily bad for your health. The FDA would not allow it to be sold otherwise.